Airports are really expensive. Really expensive. And that's annoying. So we're going to teach you how to save some money. Yeah. Like, roll the intro. Welcome back, family travelers. We're Nick and Brittany, family on standby. And if you're new here, recommend you subscribe because we got lots of tips to come. Lots of travel tips, family, travel, airport, general life, whatever. We yeah. got everything. Vlogs even? Yeah. The whole works. Yeah. But as we said, today, we're gonna try to save you some money at the airport because... Nobody likes spending a ton of cash. You don't wanna spend all your money like at, spend the it at the airport. Destination. Spend it on cool okay. things. Right? I can't even handle it. It's so loud. We're gonna go somewhere quiet. We made it to like a quieter area. It turns out there's like no quiet areas at O'Hare at this time. Literally, I thought it would be, you know, dead tonight, but it's like, it's not. There are so many people here. So I know it might seem a little disingenuous talking about saving money at an airport from like a lounge. So hear me out. It's not like terribly hypocritical. Lounges can be a great place to take the family because you can get, you know, your food and drinks and entertainment. Like everybody like all kind of wrangled into one spot. It's definitely a money saver because a lot of credit cards that you have will give you like two passes a year to go. So if you plan it out right, it's really like you're not spending any extra money. And then other credit cards uh, give you unlimited access and some offer a priority pass for an example. And you can check out, there's a link in our description about that. But it's definitely the place to go if you're like, if you have the ability to, we highly recommend it. Tip number two, this one actually starts before you even get to the airport. Weigh your bags before you go. Every airline has a different policy on the weight limit that you can bring. So you wanna make sure you check your airline first of all, and then you wanna make sure that after you know what the weight limit is that you're checking, that your bag is under that weight limit. A lot of times people get stuck because their bag is just slightly over the limit, and you don't want that to be you because the fees are pretty exorbitant and you don't have to pay them. It's crazy. I mean, sometimes they're 30, 40 dollars. That's just money you don't need to spend at the airport. We gate check most of the time and then we can get our bags kind of off our hands, but we're not paying the crazy prices. Maybe try that as an option. Uh, it can help save you 30, 40, 50 dollars sometimes. So this is definitely one to just make sure you're doing before you even leave. Tip three. All right, our third tip is transportation to the airport. Don't just drive and park. Uh, your best option is to either take an Uber or a Lyft, that's preferential if you're close enough, or park at a hotel. It's often a lot cheaper. It'll cost you maybe like $5 to $7 a day to park at a, at a hotel, and they'll even drop you off at the front door. But if you're parking, like for O'Hare for an example, it's $7 for the cheapest lot, and those are always full. So if you're already in the car and you already have your bags, now you have to go and park in the most expensive, or the more expensive one, and it's like $17 a day, which, that's way too much for parking. Like, that's a hard pass for us. <sighs> Snacks. Snacks are probably my favorite thing ever. And they come in real handy when you have a flight and you're at the airport. Because airport food, as we mentioned, is super expensive. If you can pack your own snacks, right there, you're just gonna save yourself a whole lot of money. We bring things that aren't gonna go bad. Sometimes we bring like peanut butter, sandwich or trail mix, things like that. Whatever your favorite snack is, just bring it. Then you don't have to deal with all that crazy airport prices. One thing to keep in mind, if you download the, I believe it's called My TSA app, it'll not only have all the wait times for you, which in itself is super handy, but it'll also list what you can bring through TSA. So if you're curious what snacks you can bring or what doesn't quite meet the guidelines, just download that, it'll tell you. And then you make sure your snack is covered because you don't want to leave home without your snack. Nobody wants to leave home without their snack. In addition to snacks, that's five. I've lost count. I don't know how, what tip number this is. I think it's five. But anyway, in addition to snacks, you want to have a water bottle. They have like water bottle refillers or water fountains or whatever. You can't bring a water bottle through security, but you also don't want to have to pay for a drink, obviously, when you get here. So make sure you bring just an empty water bottle, run it through security, all good. You can 
fill it up once you pass through. Who doesn't love a nice cup of Starbucks to start their travel day off? It's pumpkin spice season, I love my pumpkin spice, but I don't get it to save money. I get it on the plane. And that's our next tip, is that even though you wanna start your day off with a nice cup of coffee at the airport, don't purchase it at the airport. Wait till you get on the plane because when they come through offering drink service, you'll be able to get your cup of coffee then. And that'll save you, I don't know, three, four, depends what your order is, but that'll save you a few bucks just right there and it adds up over time. Okay, the next item on our cheapskates guide to the airport is uh, download all of your Netflix movies onto your iPad before you leave home. We personally use uh, our sister's Netflix account to do that, so thanks. So we'll download the movies onto our iPad, and then we just use it in airplane mode the whole time to keep the toddler busy. Sometimes, uh, some airlines have like free and flight entertainment, but not always. If you don't download it in advance, then you run into the issue where you might have to pay for Wi-Fi or like, I don't know, try to like bum Wi-Fi off of somebody else's phone, which is never a fun conversation, or... Or be bored. Or be bored, which, that might be the worst, right? Next tip, if you're really invested in your airport experience, do a little research on the airport before you get there. And in fact, we actually have a history of doing this because we found out this way that Atlanta, the, the Applebee's at Atlanta, which Applebee's at the Atlanta airport has a $13 bottle of wine. You can't beat that anywhere. You, can, you barely can beat that outside the airport. It's just a great way to save some money. I'm feeling like all of our tips kind of revolve around food. So as you can tell, we love food. And that's pretty much all we do when we're at the airport. So if you're anything like us, hopefully these tips will help you. All right, our next tip is really for international travelers out there. Avoid currency exchange like it's the plague. I'll say that again. Avoid currency exchange like it's the plague. It is terrible. It's so much more expensive. So either exchange before you go on your trip or wait until you've left and visit an ATM or something like that. Don't do it at the airport. You will get ripped off every single time. Now I'm not talking like, you know, highway robbery here, but like, you know, your money goes farther if you do it in advance or do it once you get there or better yet, just don't use cash. Just use your credit cards the whole time. This is the last one. We've reached the end of our list. And this one applies to if you have kids. We already mentioned that it's a good idea if you download Netflix or something like that in advance. That applies to both kids and adults. But this one is primarily just for kids. And that is, check the airport that you'll be traveling through to see if they have any special areas for kids. Most airports have something. A lot of airports have a little playground area. If you can find it, not only will the kids be super jazzed, but you can save money because what this is gonna do is make sure that they're not running all over, grabbing this, finding gift shops, finding food, snacks, desserts, whatever. They're gonna be contained in the free playground. Saves you money every time. We do it. We've all been to those airport gift shops too. And I'm not talking duty free because I guess we should have added a tip for that. But I'm talking all those shops where there's toys and every little knickknack you can find. You don't wanna be there. And every minute, you're in the playground, there's a minute you don't have to be there. All right, we hope you found all these tips useful and they save you some money on your next trip because you gotta spend your money at, on vacation, not at the airport, that's just silly. Let us know below what your favorite tip is. How do you save money when you travel? We would love to know, so that way we can save even more money too. And on that note, we've been talking about food and snacks this whole time and frankly, I'm like getting hangry. So we're gonna wrap this up. So make sure you subscribe, you know, hit the bell and follow us on social and all that good stuff. And now I think I'm gonna go try to find the lasagna.